Hey guys, this is Fuse Gamers, and today I have some Tomahawk gameplay for you on Weekend Gambler. This is Sticks and Stones, and alongside me today is going to be Drifter. Hey guys, what's up? I do uh, in-depth, and if it were realistic, and I do dick around with the Tomahawks a lot, because I love embarrassing people and making them very angry. Yeah, and that's also like what I like to do around in, you know, Sticks and Stones, because it really, I mean, the fun in Call of Duty Black Ops is honestly to piss people off and humiliate them, especially in a game like this where they go back to zero. Oh yeah, I wish, I wish, I mean, when I saw the trailer and stuff uh, for this game so many eons ago, I thought that uh, the Tomahawk always bankrupted people, so my first day or two online, I'm like, why am I not bankrupting people? I don't understand this. Oh yeah, same here. I kind of thought like that, but I always knew, because I, I did a lot of research on the wager matches, because... I knew that was something different coming into Black Ops, mm -hmm. so I pretty much knew right before that tomahawking the bankrupt was going to be in sticks and stones, and that's that's my main thing I like to play in Call of Duty Black Ops is sticks and stones because of this, because tomahawking is just so fun. Gotcha. Don't you get more points for uh, crossbow kills or knives or something, though? Yeah, you do actually get more points, but why would you want to get more points? Because some people would say... Wow, you only get 10 points for that. Honestly, it takes one point to win a game, and that's in everything. You'll hear that in sports, everything. And if everyone else is at zero and bankrupting them, then you're going to win the game. Yeah, I guess if you count uh, total point movement, every time you get a tomahawk, you're setting somebody back like 20, 30, 40 points. So that's pretty significant. Yeah, and also, it makes people very angry. And I don't know about... Most people, but when I'm angry at Call of Duty, I usually don't do very good because I'm very careless of what I'm doing and I'm really not paying attention as well. And Tom Hawkin will make you very angry. Oh, yeah, same here. Uh, I'd have my absolute best games when I'm happy and horsing around. When I get angry, I tend to be overly aggressive and do stupid things. Did I just see an arrow coming out of your face right there? Yeah, that, that was a scary moment for me right there. When that happened, I was like, oh, I'm done, I'm stuck. And a lot of times, actually, I get very lucky, and when I get stuck, I have time to pull out a tomahawk and actually get someone with it. It's, it's very hard, though, because like that, it's got the big screen that says you've been stuck, pretty much. Yeah, and, well, the tomahawk's yeah. almost instant, which which is why I like it much better than the ballistics knife. Like, people say the ballistics knife is bad. That's because when you click the ballistics knife, you have to wait like a quarter second. Tomahawks just uh, pull and go, and it, as soon as you let go, it, it flies. In the money. Yeah, I know, I'm not very good with the ballistic knife, and that's probably one of the reasons why, you know, you really gotta, like, give it, like, a, you gotta have a time set in the back of your head where he's gonna be when you shoot that ballistic knife, because unless he's standing still, he's basically, you gotta get him when he's walking into it. Yeah. Because if you aim the crosshair right on it, it's not gonna hit him if he's moving. The ballistics knife doesn't bounce either. The ballistics knife is more like a throwing knife from uh, Modern Warfare 2, which didn't do a whole lot of bouncing. The tomahawks, I like these better because they bounce all over the place and you can actually kill people. It's cheap sometimes, but normally that lets you just like roll it off the ground a little bit or maybe do something really embarrassing and try and get a bank shot for the kill cam. Mm -hmm, yeah, and honestly, I've done that a lot in public is go for bank shots because... <laughs> I mean, a kill cam like that is it's just insane. You get everyone in the game going, oh my gosh, no way. Yep. I'm sorry, my cell phone's ringing right now. It's one of my laboratory partners from school, and he's probably going to be like, hey, did you do your lab? Can I copy your lab? Herp derp herp derp herp. So uh, that distracted me a little bit there. We're still talking about tomahawks and ballistics knives, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's good. Honestly, one of the best things for tomahawking is... Also, we mentioned this with the ballistic knife, is to also get a time set in the back of your mind that you need to be a little ahead of the guy and throw it just a little bit ahead. Unless he's standing still, I mean, you'll definitely hit him there unless, unless yeah. you just stop. Me, I try, I don't know, I have much better luck with people that are moving than I do for people that are standing still because I'm moving and I keep expecting them to move. So even though they're standing still, I lead them a little bit and it just screws up terribly. Mm -hmm, yeah, I know what you mean by that. Sometimes I'll miss when they're standing still because, like, it almost seems like it's too good to be true. Someone's standing still right there for you to tomahawk him. Like when you're thinking that little, little quarter second, aren't you thinking, I know they're going to scoot to the left or the right or something. Yeah, and you're always planning, all right, which way is he going? i got to aim ahead of him. And right here, I'm chasing down the guy in first because I'm in second, and uh, he pops up on my radar. And oh, the weird part is nice. it didn't really say he was cold until the last second when I tomahawked him. One more. See, he was trying to tomahawk right you for the lead. Yeah. 
Are you, you gonna get a Tomahawk last it. kill? No, you get a knife last kill. That's okay. Uh, that was still a badass oh. ending right there. Uh, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed yeah. this. Uh, be sure to check out Fused Gamers, and I'll be sure to link you to his channel.